just before I proposed to you, we were at your parents' house, and your mom asked me to uh, give her a hand walking the dogs, which was weird, because she'd never, <laughs> she'd never done that before. And uh, when we got outside, she asked me one question. Why do you want to marry my daughter? And <laughs> I wasn't expecting the question, and I was a little taken aback, and because I was nervous, I probably talked too much and too long. <laughs> uh, shocking, I know. Um, and I, and I, <laughs> I gave an answer that was very detailed. I, I talked about all the things that had drawn me to you and, and that conti to continue to draw me to you. Your passion, your drive, your kindness. I talked about how we seem to complete each other. My need to talk things out, bringing you out of your own head your ability to calmly consider a situation reminding me that it's okay to relax sometimes. <laughs> I talked about my own fear and anxiety, something that has been a part of my life for as long as I can remember, but how being around you seemed to make all that a bit easier to handle. I talked about how you would become one of the few people around whom I could simply be myself, and that's not a person that many people have ever seen. In short, I told your mom the story of us. And after again talking for way too long, <laughs> your mom looked at me and said, I was hoping you'd just say it was because you loved her. <laughs> True story. Uh, I think I probably turned several shades of purple in embarrassment um, because she was right. In all my ranting and waxing poetic about all these things that I felt for you and continue to feel for you, I never once mentioned our love. I've thought about that moment ever since and I think I've figured out why. It's because I never think about being in love with you. I just am. In fact, I can't remember a time in our lives together when I wasn't in love with you and that's not to say that it was love at first sight. It wasn't. I, I don't know that I believe in that. But maybe that's what love at first sight is. Maybe when two people love each other long enough and well enough, that love has no real beginning. I can't pinpoint a single moment when I realize, boom, I'm in love with Amy. But standing here now, I feel that love as strongly as I feel anything else in my life. We deal with difficult moments in our lives. Most of them having to do with what to do for dinner. But we've had our struggles, and we'll continue to have moments of heartbreak, despair, fear, anger, disappointment, and everything else that comes with life on this earth, but our love has always been the easy part. And I suppose that's what I vow to you today. No matter what, no matter how tough life gets, I promise to always make sure our love is as easy as it is right now. I promise to always make sure we both know that it's there, lifting us up when we get down, giving us strength, when we're running a bit short, granting us patience when we've grown a bit annoyed with each other, and keeping us safe when we need to feel safe. And I promise to keep that love in mind every time I have to turn your socks right side out to fold them. <laughs> <laughs> the struggle is real. <laughs> I, have, I have one last promise. Yes. It's tough, it's tough. I have one last promise to make. Ever since I was a kid, I've struggled to understand my own happiness. I don't think I was ever unhappy, but I was always worried that one day that feeling might go away forever and that I'd be left to search for something I never truly understood. But as I got older, one thing I learned was that we have the ability as human beings to choose to be happy. It seemed like such a simple idea, but it always challenged me. Then I met you and we built this amazing life together and I finally come to understand we don't necessarily choose to be happy. It's not that easy. We choose to surround ourselves with the people and things that make us happiest. My grandparents did that. My mom does that with us, me and my brother. We choose to be happy because we surround ourselves with the things and the people that make us happiest. The tricky part is recognizing those things when they come along. So my promise to you today is to always choose the happiness that you bring me because nothing has ever made me happier than you.
ready? Yeah. You're ready. Yeah. Talk to you. Okay. So this is going to look terrifying when I open it, but I double spaced it, so I didn't. Get it <laughs> Chapter one. <laughs> okay. So my story starts a little differently. Um, <laughs> I was not a fan of Ryan the first time I met him. <laughs> Between what I perceived as some pretentious questions at a 9 to 5 rehearsal and a joke about being a D-list Baltimore celebrity... It's not what I said. <laughs> it's not what I said. <laughs> Unfortunately, the, or fortunately, the only witnesses to that conversation are with us today, so... It's not what it's I my said. word against his. Um, I kind of wrote him off. But through time spent in groups before and after rehearsals, and a lot of time spent together at a restaurant called Steak in Maine, my mind and heart were changed. It may surprise some of you to know that I had a couple of the big first moments in our relationship. I was the first to use the word relationship. I was the first to say I love you. Ryan was the first to bring up marriage. And I admit, uh, I took some convincing. My close friends and family can attest, I never thought I was meant for marriage. It was not something I prioritized before Ryan. The five years we have spent together changed my mind and my heart. I am so happy to be standing across from this man today in front of our closest friends and family, pledging our love and commitment for the rest of our lives. We have faced challenges and triumphs in our short five years together, a concentrated portion of those in the past few weeks. <laughs> and our relationship is stronger for all of us. <laughs> we frustrate each other, comfort each other, anger each other, make each other laugh, lift each other up, and push each other to be better, all in equal measure. And I think that makes us strong in this moment and for all the moments to come. Ryan, thank you for finding me at a time in my life when I needed to be found. I was so sure you were going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for sticking with me and for fighting for me and for us. I love the life we share, the family we are a part of, and I am honored to call you my husband from this day forward. And from this day forward, because I am supposed to promise things, right? <laughs> from this day forward, I take you to be my partner in life. Above all else, I promise you honesty. I promise to live in truth and in love. All evidence today to the contrary, I promise to try to be on time. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, I promise to encourage you to chase your dreams and to ground you if you get lost. I promise to be your biggest supporter and your closest ally. I promise to always prove you wrong when you misquote a movie. <laughs> and to humbly concede if I am ever wrong. <laughs> I, promise you to, I promise to challenge you and to push you to be better. But most of all, I promise to love you, dream with you, celebrate with you, and travel beside you through whatever life may bring us. You are my person, my love, my life, from this day until the end of days. Do we have the rings? I hope so. <laughs> Ryan placed the ring on Amy's left finger, left hand finger. And repeat after me. Amy, I give you this ring. Amy, I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and commitment. As a sign of my love and commitment. Now and forever. Now and forever. 
Damien. I thought there was more. <laughs> Please place the ring on Ryan's finger and repeat after me. Ryan, I give you this ring. Ryan, I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and commitment. As a sign of my love and commitment. Now and forever. Now and forever. And ladies and gents, um, I'd like Ryan and Amy just to take a moment um, of silence and just, uh, just enjoy this moment. This is a, this is a, after all, it's the reason we're all here. Take a few minutes and just uh, enjoy this for a second. Today is going to go by really fast. By the power invested in me, <laughs> and now I pronounce you husband and wife, you may kiss your bride. <laughs>